Good morning. Welcome to Show Me The Money Rugby TV. Um, before we start the show, we've got some good segments today. We're going to do all sorts, but thought I'd share a couple of personal uh, feelings of what happened at the weekend. Uh, if you watched our preview show, I was really nervous. I think I actually called a drop kick, um, and it was hopefully in England's favour. Um, but I've actually seen a lot of the euphoria after the game and people, you know, sticking boots in and sticking boots in there. It's definitely not a time for that. But is it a time for reflection? Yes, definitely. And um, we'll discuss that in a, in, in a minute in full fold. But we asked the question, would it be, um, how would it be judged England and Sean and the squad if we went to our semi-final stage? And I think everybody to a dog said, uh, we thought it'd be disappointing. Overall, if that happened, um, I think the game of the, the game of the World Cup for England would remarkably be the, 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 the victory over Samoa in the first game. Is that now watered down because Samoa, as they said at the time, had just arrived, a lot of players had only been in the country two or three days and the fitness proved that England, ultimately that game, I, I did say, believed, I do believe that game cost us what happened on Saturday. Uh, I think that Samoa learnt a lot more than we did. And they came, came with a different game plan and they executed it. And by the way, in defeat, you've got to say, what a performance by Samoa, the best in their history during a World Cup final. Someone quoted this this morning to me. Australia get a selection of three to one players <coughs> coming through their academies to us. Well, we probably get three to one on Samoa. So where you give, where you're taking away credit, uh, I've got to give a lot of credit for Samoa. They were sensational. Um but as I said, the review on England has to be brutal and has to be honest. I'm disappointed personally because I think the game as a whole needed England in the final. 100% needed it, needed everybody behind it. I saw some players last night or, or ex-players or sporters saying they're not going on Saturday now. They feel that it's watered down. I think that's a terrible thing on Rugby League. I think you should still go and, and get there behind it. You, you support you support in Rugby League as well as your country. We definitely need people at that game. Last thing we need now in the final is it is it is it not sold out? So please get behind everybody who's a rugby league fan. Should be at the game if you can get there. Should be watching it on TV to break the record so we can go to IMG and they can go to Sky and break some records on the next deal. But as I said we'll review the game. But ultimately uh, we came up short again. And and, and I was in I was actually in a in a bar watching it with about sixty uh, people. And everybody felt the same of a certain age. It's weird. The youngsters had a lot more, a lot more feeling that we can do with this. But as if you've been through the England football and you've been through everything, the older, the older farts among us actually were quite negative because you could see it coming. And you could see what was going to happen again. Uh, and again, we've come up with short, uh, which again is disappointing. I actually said this, and I got to know last night. The, the England team practiced sudden death up to six weeks ago, repetition, repetition, repetition of what was going to happen if it went to sudden death. The feeling is that they went against that and the two mistakes that give them two penalty chances should never have been there. And I think the, the word is Sean Wayne's biggest fuming about that is they know exactly what to do, which you, usually would mean just get the ball as far as you can from the rook drive single-handedly and kick as far as you can in extra time. It would not have been to pass any balls more than one pass. And it wasn't, to, I, I have a feeling he would have even said, miss the hooker out and pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll and kick. Because the safest place for you is any type of field position. Because as soon as you've knocked on in sudden death or any type of mistake, you're in big trouble. We made two mistakes in space of four and a half minutes of extra time. Ultimately, that led to our defeat. So again, we'll finish this one, but Samoa, unbelievable. I always thought the Australians would be too good for everybody. Uh, uh, we'll discuss the semi-final, potentially the greatest game of rugby I've ever seen, New Zealand and, and Australia, uh, typica, typified by Mal Meninga saying, welcome back, test football. You've just watched Origin at test football level. We've been waiting, I don't know how long, 20 years for that. It were brutal. 
Uh, there's a comment by a top journalist, uh, Harewood, I think it's, I don't know which paper he's from, and he's not a rugby league fan, but my friends told me he said these words. Well, I'm not, I don't watch a lot of rugby league and we don't print a lot of rugby league, but I've just seen one of the greatest sporting events I've ever seen in my life. So, big up on the rest of the rugby league, but as an England fan, uh, the queue was on the rack. We're sat there again in the same feeling we do have in a lot of sports. Uh, 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 you know, and it's back to the drawing board. 